Stay tuned for more Dogma Debate with David Smalley. Yes, that is true. This is the Dogma Debate. I'm your host, David Smalley. You can always get caught up with us at dogmadebate.com if that's something you happen to be interested in. Now, as a part of dogmadebate.com, uh, we always take the listener feedback, the reader feedback, the bloggers, all kind of conform on dogmadebate.com to share their opinions. Um, this is a special episode of Dogma Debate in which we are posting to YouTube. So to all of the YouTube uh, video watchers out there, thank you for joining me today. And also, um, to all of the, uh, over, I, I think it's over 40,000 uh, viewers now of Smalley Undo, the undo video with the text rolling. I'm not going to give it away, but if you haven't seen it, go to YouTube, type in Smalley Undo, and you will see... Uh, the video that will shake your brain a little. And that's what it was designed to do. Don't give up on it. You're going to get halfway through it and go, ah, oh, this is another one of these. Stick it out. It'll be worth the wait. Anyway, your feedback is always welcome at dogmadebate.com. Today the topic is prayer. Now, this is, this is a genuine question I have for the Christian listener. I, I really uh, want to know the answer to this question. I'm not just some random guy out there, you know, uh, attacking Christianity or attacking the, the listener. I want to know why you pray. When you think about it, if you start to say, well, you know, to let God, what, to let God know what I want, to let God know what I need, let's just stop and think about this for a moment. In your belief, God is all-knowing. He already knows what you want. He already knows what you need. And he already knows what's going to happen. He already knows what you're going to ask for before you ask for it and whether or not you're going to get it. In your belief, the Christian God knows all and is everywhere all the time. With that in mind, what could you ever possibly ask him for that he doesn't know about already. If you say, Lord, please uh, keep Nancy safe as she drives home to South Carolina this evening, what have you really done besides ask for the inevitable? Ask for something that's already taken care of. And if you think that this God has to be directed with his actions like he doesn't know that nancy is driving home and she needs that assistance and you feel like you have to tell him that that she's there and 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 that she needs his help why do we refer to him as a god if he's not all-knowing so we can assume that in the christian belief he does know that nancy's driving home he does know whether or not he's going to keep her safe in fact, that may be Nancy's time to go, and that may be the time in which Nancy's going to die. Yet, you are praying to prevent his plan from happening. Um, the same holds true for someone in a hospital bed. I, I completely understand saying, we'll pray for you. But when you really think about it, if having an abortion is intervening with God's will in your belief, wouldn't praying for a dying person to live also be interfering with God's will? I'm, I'm trying to understand the concept of it. If someone can explain it to me, I, I'm, I'm wide open. I am open to the explanation. I, I want to know why it's justified. Because it seems like that you're okay with interfering with God's will in public. Like you will, you know, have, have radio prayer or have public prayer for, for someone in a church. Um, so people will come up and they'll speak about it. So-and-so is going through this hard time. If we could all just pray for her. Is there power in numbers when it comes to prayer? Um, 
If more people prayed, do you have better chances of getting through the avenue to your God? I'm, I'm, I'm really not being arrogant here or, or, or mean or attacking. I seriously want to know how you can honestly believe that something is all-powerful, all-knowing, and in control, yet you consistently tell him what to do or ask him for things that he already knows is or is not going to happen. So, if it's already in God's plan for you to get the job and you don't ask for it, aren't you still going to get the job? Of course, if it's in God's plan. And if it's already in God's plan for you to not get the job and you ask for it, you're not going to get the job. So it's already according to what his plan is anyway, according to your own belief. So asking for something means really nothing. I mean, we want to hold true to the notion that God created man from dust, yet he has to be reminded to keep us safe on our drive home. What I wrote in my book, um, Baptized Atheist, that is available at dogmadebate.com, is just as funerals are for the living and not the dead, prayers are for the people, not the gods. I think you pray to make yourself feel better. You pray to remove the burden from yourself and put the burden on something metaphysical, something bigger, something more powerful than yourself, so that you don't feel like you have the responsibility. It's a huge load off for you to say, it's in God's hands now. And for me, as a non-believer, someone who I, I believe I'm in control of my own destiny, I feel like saying, let go and let God, is truly giving up on yourself. Because if you don't do anything about it, Nobody's going to do anything about it. <clears throat> and you may have people that are that are going to help you, but it doesn't always mean it's metaphysical or that it's related to a God in some way. So, uh, listeners, go to dogmadebate.com. Tell me what you think. Viewers of YouTube, leave your comments. Let me know what you think um, because I really don't get it. I really don't understand the concept of prayer if you truly believe the omnipotence and power of the Christian version of God. If, if he is what you say he is, prayer is absolutely useless. I would like to know your reasoning for being able to pray and being okay with it. Stick around for more Dogma Debate right after this. Hi, I'm an atheist. And I'm a Christian. What you uh what are you reading over there? Oh, Harry Potter. It's good stuff. Oh, that's